Well, I learned something new from this movie. Apparently vampires don't piss or shit. So there is that. Hey guys, how is it all going? So, I have just got done watching the new Jamie Foxx Netflix movie, Day Shift. And Jamie Foxx stars as a badass Los Angeles vampire hunter, who was very good at his job, by the way. <laughs> and um, unfortunately for Jamie Foxx, um, he has to earn a little bit more money to keep his daughter and his ex-wife from moving to Florida and the only way he can get this money in the short amount of time that he has he has to rejoin the vampire hunters union where he sells vampire teeth for cash during this time though unfortunately for our main hero he kills a vampire he shouldn't have which puts a massive target on his back like vampires you really wouldn't want chasing you and that is basically the plot of our movie day shift and I, as I always do, guys, there'll be no spoilers with these new movies that come out. Because I like for you to go in and watch them fresh and not knowing pretty much anything about them. So, I will start off with my positives on this one. And it's the massive positive that this film has. The action scenes are nothing short of outstanding. They really are. They are some brutal kills in this. Some of the best vampire action you will have seen in a long time and very very cr creative fights in this as well like i really did dig the action in this it, it was phenomenal to be fair it was highly 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 entertaining and i like the way the vampires move and they look creepy you would not want to bump into these fuckers like at all <laughs> you know what i mean you wouldn't last five minutes with these they're brutal they, 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 like, they all kind of like bend and arms move and legs go over the heads and they're, just, they're, just, uh, they're freaky. <laughs> so I like the vampires in this. And I also like the lore, the vampire lore. There's like different levels of vampires. And there's a world in this movie that I would like to see more of. I would like for them to have dived into that world a bit more. And hopefully we do get more movies set in this world because I'd love to see that side of it explored more because I even though this is close to being a two hour movie I think this would have been perfect as a series to be honest with you so they could have dived into that vampire lore a bit more but it got me intrigued enough to want to see more and also another positive in this as well my boy Scott Atkins is in this he isn't in it much which is a shame when you got someone that talented but I hope he gets more roles like this because he, he deserves it. I think he's a great action star, really do. And I actually think he's a decent actor, so it was great seeing him in this role. And of course, our main lead, Jamie Foxx, is basically playing Jamie Foxx, but I don't care because I like Jamie Foxx and he's highly entertaining. And he holds the film together well. I, I You know, I like seeing him in this role and I would like to see more of him in this role in future movies if we ever do get any but i will say i do have negatives for this movie and one of the main negative for me is is dave franco's character in this film is beyond fucking insufferable i every time he was on screen i couldn't stand him i couldn't bear him he did my head in and that is nothing against Dave Franco the actor at all I actually quite like Dave Franco his character in this movie was extremely fucking annoying really annoying also the dialogue in this movie is bad <laughs> like really really bad um oh it, it, terrible it, it's absolutely terrible and the comedy did not land for me at all. Like I I think I might have chuckled maybe once and that was at the vampires 
you know, don't piss and shit line. And then the young girl who plays Jamie Foxx's daughter goes, so does that mean vampires are full of shit? I chuckled at that part. The rest of it, uh, it, 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 the comedy really does fall flat in this. And also, like I said, Snoop Dogg, like, he's not in it that much. And I, I wanted to see more of Snoop Dogg in this because when he's on screen, it's highly entertaining. So I'd like to have seen more of Snoop Dogg in this movie. But overall, guys, it's not a great movie, but it's not a bad movie neither. It, it's just above okay for me. It's in the line between good and okay. It's entertaining enough. It's one of them films you can just come home after a long day of work, stick on, and just empty your head. Just take your brain out and just enjoy it for what it is. And it's, it's entertaining to a point. And the main reason why I say it's entertaining is because the action scenes are so good in this movie. They really are. Also, another neg negative in this movie as well is you don't really get to know like um, our main film, um, our main vampire villain in this. She basically just there just to be a typical bad guy, just a typical role that I think anybody could have played that. To be honest with you. But it's definitely a Jamie Foxx led movie. So if you like Jamie Foxx. I think you'll like this movie. If you like seeing great action. I think you'll like this movie. It's entertaining enough. I think it's worth your time. It's not great. But it's not bad neither. So I will give Day Shift guys. I would give it a 3 out of 5. It just gets fresh for me. I do think it's worth your time. I think you'll find a bit of fun to have in this movie. So guys, if you've already seen the movie, let me know in the comments below. What did you think of it? Do you like Jamie Foxx? What's your favourite vampire movie? Let me know in the comments below. It is always a pleasure hearing from you guys. And as always, please take care of yourselves and each other. And I will see you again real soon. Take care guys. Goodbye now.